Not every training session from the strongest weightlifter ever requires the utmost focus, discipline, seriousness. In fact, sometimes a training session requires a certain amount of lightheartedness, a lack of structure, messing around, I guess. And so that's what we have here. It's the strongest weightlifter of all time in his penultimate training session, messing around, testing his grip strength, getting into tussles just days before doing this. Oh, and it is possible. He had more. He if did. he had a fourth attempt, we could have seen 226 kilos. I think so. Snatching 222 kilos in competition. Seeing such a massive man, 175 kilos, 385 pounds, holding this tiny camera and trying to make it work, which to him basically just means getting one of his friends to turn around and look at him whilst using it, is hilarious to me for some reason. Hello. And then I think he found great pleasure in turning the camera on us, the media, who were filming him. He seemed pretty happy with himself at this point. Usually there's a lot of focus on the task at hand in training, which is to do a certain amount of work to improve and become a better weightlifter. But three days out from competition, that's not really the focus. You can't get any better here. The focus is on getting into the right frame of mind to lift well. And for many, for Lasher, that means keeping things lighthearted, fun, relaxed, lots of joking, not too uptight. Also, coach Georgi Asanidzi was away, coaching another athlete in competition at these European Championships. And so this training session in the training hall of that competition was somewhat undercover from the scrupulous eyes of the coach. Anything goes. And then Armenia walked in, including Lash's two biggest rivals, Simon Matrosian and Verazda Lalian. I expected this to put an end to the joking. Perhaps Lash's guard would come back up, but it really made no difference. I've seen Lasher do a lot of playing around physically with teammates, getting them in a headlock or pretending to have a fight. But seeing him joke around physically with Simon Matrosian essentially an enemy in sport, a competitor, was actually pretty eye-opening to me, especially because Lasha sort of played the part of being nervous in, in a jokey way of Simon. I guess perhaps Lasha really has no competitors, because to be a competitor by definition you have to compete with someone, but no one really competes with Lasha, except maybe for Lalian, kind of. There was a bit more standoffishness there, but they still greeted each other. Also, if you're wondering why I'm visible in this video at points, it's because we now have a few people at Weightlifting House filming training sessions. So I was there just getting clips on my phone for the Weightlifting House Instagram story, which, by the way, is where you can get daily weightlifting highlights. So go check that out. I'll put a link below next to the link for the best programming in the world, Weightlifting AI, which, by the way, we are adding program focuses to. It's something we've been building for months, something a lot of you have all been extremely excited for. You asked and, and we built it. So you'll be able to select, for example, a, a bodybuilding focus program or a strength focused or, or competition preparation focus. As always, you can try weightlifting AI for free with code 2 trial. That program focus will be ready very, very soon. As well as showing Lasher performing a max grip test, which by the way was set up by Alexei Trokti, so shout out for him for organising that. I also want to show a few lifts from the Armenian big boys because they're pretty incredible. And so that guy there testing his grip strength, I, I believe is Lasher's brother. They're always together at these competitions and interestingly, Lasher actually kept refusing to do the grip tests throughout the week. I don't know why, maybe because there was a crazy expectation for him to be the strongest, which he wasn't. Maybe because it was unprescribed physical training, I don't know. But eventually he did do it. I also tested mine and didn't do so well. Uh, but my claim to fame is that I did beat the 73 kilo Georgian Kaki Asanidzi, Georgie's son, so I'll take that. In the end, Lasha got 103. <laughs> 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 
The biggest outlier, by the way, for those wondering, was Oscar Reyes Martinez from Italy, who scored 93. He's an 81 kilo lifter and was only beaten by super heavyweight lifters, which is insane. Also, you might be interested to know that some of the strongest lifters did the worst, and some of the not so strong, you know, podium level lifters did the best. For example, someone like Carlos Nassar did far, far worse than a lifter in his own category, like Marin Robu. You really would not expect that. So back to the session with the Armenians, and Laliana's building up with impeccable form to 220 kilos. The more rugged technician of the two, the 109 kilo world record holder turned super heavyweight, Simon Martirosian, was throwing some muscle snatches at 120 kilos overhead before taking ludicrous jumps to some comfy 170 kilo snatches. Some of you may remember back in 2019, I filmed Simone total 380 kilos in five lifts, five singles, five touches of the bar. 70 kilos to 120 kilos to a 160 kilo snatch, so that's three touches of the bar. He then slapped on two more 20s to 200 kilos for his first clean and jerk of the day, that's four touches of the bar, and then 220 kilos for his fifth and final lift. It was a spectacular disregard for how most people would tell you to warm up. Pretty legendary stuff, to be honest. The 23-year-old Lalian moves pretty flawlessly in the snatch and the cleaner jerk. He hits great positions, he's brutally strong, and he moves fast. He's just not as large as Lasher. He doesn't have the height that Lasher has that allows him to pull the bar for longer, which gives him more time to accelerate the bar and hit a higher top speed. Watching Lalian hit these clean and jerks though is really beautiful. He moves like a 67 kilo weightlifter would. What I also love about this session is that Gore Manassian, who now of course competes for Bahrain, is in the back training, and he's doing close grip snatches. Now Gore is known for two things. Snatching more than anyone in history, barring Lasher, and having awful depth. So what was so interesting and really made all of us laugh was the fact that in the close grip snatch, a more demanding lift in terms of mobility, which is due to the greater requirement for a vertical torso because of the additional flexion of the shoulder, he actually has better depth. He catches below parallel, and then for some reason catches his snatches above parallel. It's like he can catch deeply, but even with as much as 217 kilos, he doesn't bother because, well, he doesn't need to. Who knows? Perhaps if we loaded up 230 kilos, he might catch it in a squat. Also, before anyone comes at me in the comments, that was obviously a joke. Gore also basically hang power snatched 200 kilos a few days before this, which is a very rare thing to see in a training hall. Not only can very few people in history do that, but also weightlifters don't go heavy on variations of the lift so close to competition. And so it took a few interesting circumstances to make it work. You've got the second strongest snatcher ever, in a competition training hall for a competition in which he cannot compete. I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more.